Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain an American science fiction thriller film called Awake. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Jill Adams is a former U.S. Army medic and a recovering alcoholic. She works as a security guard in a local medical college to raise her kids, Noah and Matilda. At the beginning of the movie, she enters the hospital at night and uses her privileges to sneak into the research lab. She then steals some medicine and sells them to a local drug dealer the next morning. After the adventurous morning, Jill goes to her mother, Doris's house, to pick up her children. Because of Jill's past with drug abuse, Noah and Matilda are currently under Doris's custody by law. Matilda is delighted to meet her mother, but Noah, like a typical teenager, seems grumpy. Once Noah gets over puberty, he'll think it's cool that his mom is an addict and a thief. Doris sees them off, but asks Jill to bring the kids home by seven. As they drive, the car swerves and stops by the side of the road. The mother asks her kids if they are okay, but before they can reply, a car hits them and sends them flying into a lake. The family struggles to get out of the flooding vehicle. Jill and Noah somehow manage to swim up, but notice that Matilda is nowhere to be seen. To their relief, a policeman has saved her and has brought her to shore. Jill is hurt, so the policeman suggests she go to the hospital. He reveals that the entire city is going through a power crisis and everything that works on electricity or gas is malfunctioning. All the vehicles in the city have stopped working out of the blue, which has caused several accidents everywhere. Jill and the kids rush to the hospital, only to see that it is packed because of cases of accidents. No one knows what caused the power loss or when it is going to come back, but the people at the hospital speculate that they might be at war or are being attacked by a terrorist organization. Or perhaps the Y2K bug was just late to the party after all. As the family waits for someone to attend to them, they witness two patients who were in a coma waking up at the same time. They come back home and stay at Doris's for the night. Noah and Jill cannot fall asleep, so they look at the stars through the window and notice satellites moving at high speed. The following morning, Jill cycles to work. Even though it is still pretty dark, everyone in the neighborhood is awake. She is confused because normally the streets are empty at this time of the day. Before going to work, she goes to her drug dealer, who tells her that he can double the price on any pills she can provide, as the sales are skyrocketing due to the power loss. At work, Jill takes the risk and tries stealing medicine in broad daylight. She is caught by the college's chief, Dr. Murphy, who walks into the room with two soldiers. To Jill's surprise, the last thing they care about is her stealing the medicine. They are preoccupied with finding the cause of the power loss. Dr. Murphy remembers that Jill used to be a medic, so she asks her to join the survivor's hub established to research the power loss. Jill declines the offer, wanting to be with her kids instead. An employee from the college named Brian tells Jill that no one in the city has been able to fall asleep for the last 48 hours. They are unsure what is causing it, but it is almost as if the power loss eradicated humans' ability to fall asleep. Brian explains the severity of the situation, claiming that people will soon suffer from the symptoms of sleep deprivation, and if this goes on for long enough, everyone will lose their minds. Plus, Freddy Krueger will be out of work. Jill doesn't believe him because Matilda slept peacefully the entire night and was fast asleep when she left for work. Brian is shocked because the only known person who has slept in the past 48 hours is an old woman with heart disease. The doctors have been studying her symptoms in the hopes of finding a cure for the condition. Jill realizes that Matilda and the woman are the only exceptions in the entire city. Brian asks Jill to take Matilda to the hub to help the doctors. But Jill declines, fearing the experiments that the doctors will perform on her daughter. Following that, she rushes home to look for Matilda, but finds out that she is in the church with Doris. Everyone at the church has been told that Matilda can still sleep. The pastor gives a sermon about Matilda being a beacon of hope. Now, the extremists present in the church want to sacrifice her in the hopes of getting their sleep back. Back home, Jill senses that Matilda might be in great danger if people find out she can sleep. So, she packs up a bag of necessities, deciding to run away from society. She and Noah make their way to the church, and Brian tags along. On their way, they witness several robberies taking place. They also come across the dead body of a police officer in an alleyway. People have already started going insane because of sleep deprivation. 
Jill finally reaches the church and hears the people discuss if they should sacrifice Matilda. Brian tries to convince the people to let her go to the hub and help the scientist develop a cure. But a police officer, who is in favor of sacrificing her, shoots him dead. Everyone panics and starts running around. Amidst the chaos, Jill manages to get her children and the three run to a nearby forest. Noah convinces Jill to go to the hub because if he and Jill die in a few days, people will kill Matilda. While discussing their next move, Jill realizes that some old models of cars must still be working, so they go to a nearby garage to find one. Noah and Matilda hide outside as Jill carefully walks inside the garage. She notices two thugs have looted the place and are already planning to claim all the cars as their own. Jill walks further inside and manages to get the keys, all while staying hidden. After finding a car that works, they start their journey to the hub. A while later, Matilda sleeps in the back of the car. Given the circumstances, Noah is astounded by his sister's ability to sleep. Never underestimate the power of a teenager. They stop the vehicle when they see an accident in the middle of the street. Jill walks closer and notices the thugs from earlier have been killed in an accident. She simply takes their gun and continues the journey. A while later, they come across a bunch of naked people, presumably from a cult, standing in the middle of the road. To Jill's relief, they make room for the car to pass. They were just there for the YouTube thumbnails. The family then reaches a secluded library and decides to take a rest. Jill teaches Matilda to shoot a gun, claiming that she will need it after Jill and Noah die of sleep deprivation. The thought of being alone terrifies Matilda. Later, she is sleeping outside in the car while Noah and Jill are trying to locate the hub on a map. Several prisoners are let free from a nearby prison because of the crisis. A prisoner named Dodge finds the car and drives away with Matilda still inside of it. When the other two come outside, they are surprised to see that Matilda is missing. To add to their problems, the other prisoners surround them, asking Noah to come over. Jill runs out of bullets and the criminals are about to capture them when Dodge drives the car back to the library. He saves Jill and Noah and drives away. Moments later, they stop near the plane wreckage. Dodge finds several clothes and other necessities in the wreckage, after which they head north to the hub. At night, Jill teaches Matilda to drive to prepare her for the possibility of living alone. While they are at it, they notice people's dead bodies hanging upside down by the side of the road. Jill hurriedly tries to drive away, but the maniacs outside break the car's window and grab them through it. As they struggle to stay inside, Matilda presses the gas and they somehow manage to drive away. Some hours later, they finally reach the hub. Jill and the kids hand the car over to Dodge so he can drive to his hometown to meet his family. He offers to stick around to help them, but they decline. Jill then keeps Noah and Matilda hidden in a house because after everything that happened on the way, she wants to make sure the hub is safe for her children. The sleep deprivation is starting to get to her. She approaches the hub while hiding under a bridge. She finds out that the army protecting the hub is surviving on medicine, but slowly, they are also turning violent. Jill disguises herself as a lab worker and meets the old woman who is the only person that can sleep other than Matilda. Jill wants her to raise Matilda since only she has a possibility of surviving, but the woman is too sick and old to understand her request. She reveals that she was supposed to be dead last month but is somehow still living. Just then, Dr. Murphy enters the room and sees them talking. Jill claims that she is there to help. Murphy is also visibly affected by the lack of sleep. She says that the doctors have found a drug that helps the sleep-deprived brain function better for a short period of time, but it also harms the brain. If that drug isn't cocaine, I will eat my hat. Jill returns to the house and sees that Dodge, Noah, and Matilda have been found by the soldiers. Dodge had come back to help them, but now all of them are at gunpoint. To save their life, Matilda tearfully admits that she can sleep. The soldiers then take her to their lab. The researcher, Dr. Katz, exposes her to an anesthetic gas and is surprised to see that she can actually sleep. Jill has now lost her rationality because of sleep deprivation and exhaustion. Murphy asks her questions about Matilda, but she can hardly form a sentence. Following that, the old lady goes into cardiac arrest and passes away despite the doctor's efforts to save her. Now, the fate of humanity is in Matilda's hands. Dodge is taken as a guard and is given stimulants to help with exhaustion. 
Meanwhile, Jill experiences hallucinations where she sees Noah trying to kill her. She comes back to her senses when a soldier takes Noah away, who is beside her the whole time. As time passes, everyone at the hub, including the medical staff and the soldiers, start to lose their minds. They experience hallucinations and shoot everyone around them. One of the soldiers calls Jill Sandra and tries to kill her. Moments later, she shoots herself dead. Then, they start killing each other. Jill rushes to save Matilda, but Murphy stops her. Some seconds later, she dies because of the stimulants Dr. Katz has given her. Jill finally frees Matilda and they run to save Noah. Noah, on the other hand, is hallucinating as well. He touches an electric wire, believing it to be a fish, and gets electrocuted in the process. Jill and Matilda try their best to save him, but to no avail. The following morning, dead bodies are scattered all around the establishment. Everyone has died except for Matilda and Jill. Yet, Jill is not in her right mind and is about to pass out any time. Suddenly, Noah wakes up, alive and well. The two are surprised and overjoyed to have him back. They notice that Noah seems to have come back from a deep sleep and is now normal. Matilda registers that Noah could sleep because he temporarily died last night, like she did when she drowned in the lake. In an attempt to save their mother, the kids bring her to a nearby lake. They push her into the water, waiting for her to stop moving. When she goes limp, they bring her out and try to revive her. The movie ends as the kids perform CPR on their mother. Jeez, I hope their theory was correct. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.